Hello and welcome to Rhino3D.tv. My name is Sergio Martinez and today I'm going to be showing you Rhino 5's different advanced display modes and uh, also a few tips on how you can customize them and to, to be able to visualize your models in different interesting ways. So first of all uh, I'll show you how to quickly change between display modes. Uh, most, uh, uh, most everybody's aware of the shade and wireframe icon there. If you hold that down there you get you know the different display modes in there. But another quick uh, way to, to do this also is to go right click on the name of the view and right there you have all the display modes that you have available. Notice that we can go to wireframe, we can switch to shaded mode, render shadows for example that will provide us with some shadow previews you know and uh, and so on so forth. Technical which gives us a technical view of the model and now I'm going to show you how we can customize those where you can go and customize them and then I'm going to show you how you can load uh, different ones that maybe were done by someone else or you want to transfer from one computer to the other. So now that we've seen how to change them let's go back let me put it back on shaded mode I'm going to go into the options right here we open up the Rhino options we will go to appearance We'll go to advanced settings. Notice that when you open advanced settings, they're all listed there, all the ones that you have. Now with advanced settings highlighted, you have them all here on the right side. Notice at the bottom here, you have a bunch of different icons. So for example, it's very easy for you to pick shaded and click copy. And automatically notice here, we have a new one called copy of shaded which you can now name whatever you want whatever name you think is appropriate for your display and you can change all the properties to do different like for example this uh, the my original shade mode I turned off the ISO curves and the mesh wires you know and there's no edges being displayed so in this case I could turn on the ISO curves and put the edge thickness maybe to 3 and then click OK and now if I go back to copy of shaded now I have a new shaded mode which shows me the edges with the thickness of 3 pixels and the ISO curves so right there you see, very simple I was able to customize and now I have an extra display option that I can use obviously copy of shaded is not a very good name we will give it shaded technical or shaded ISO or whatever name you think you want so let's get back to our uh, options and uh, now that we're here notice that there's a bunch of different ones there and then you can always you know uh, click new and create a totally new one you know so right now for example I'm gonna pick technical or render shadows you can pick any you can pick technical and click copy and the same thing now you can come over here and you can add and change all the settings that you want and create a different type of advanced display option so that is how you customize copy your different uh, display modes notice if I go to advanced settings I no longer want technical the copy of technical I can just delete it and I'll go ahead and delete the copy of shaded also now, now that we have here, notice that if we pick one, we can click here export, which means I can export it to anywhere on my computer, to a flash drive, uh, to an online folder, whatever, so that I can have access to it uh, from another computer. So in this case, imagine that uh, someone sent you some display modes. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import and notice here I have uh, I already downloaded a couple of uh, a couple of uh, display modes that were made by uh, Brian James yeah he's one of our uh, training and support specialists uh, that works with McNeil and uh, he created these two uh, 
to share with with us and what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is load them so that we can preview how how they were made so let me load for example uh, artistic sketch there we automatically get it over here let me go back in there and import technical sketch and now we have them both loaded notice that they're now available right here now I can click OK and now I'm going to run through a few models just to give you an idea on how you know how to how they look and how you know you'll get an idea of how you can visualize your models much better and with whatever properties you want.